All right, this is the practice exam key, uh, video one. Let's go ahead and get started. So um, the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to draw the qualitative velocity graphs for objects A and B in this figure here. So let's begin. Um, I want to draw a time axis actually up here. And the reason is I know things are moving backwards. I can tell because they're approaching the origin. So for object A, um, let's actually draw its graph. Um, and if we notice, um, what we'll do with object A is note that it is moving backwards at a constant velocity. This is simply a buggy lab graph of an object moving backwards. So we can draw object A's graph really like this. Now for object B, we start off going slowly. And I know that because the graph is flat. And then it gets steeper near the end. So it's speeding up going backwards. The way I draw the velocity graph like that is that I start off slow and I wind up going faster and I can just connect these like this. So that'll be object B. Now if you want to describe how the motion of object A is different than object B, we really need to get clear on describing the motion of both objects. And to do that, um, I'm going to actually describe how each object moves. So object A and B start at the same position and end at the same position. Object A moves backwards at a constant velocity. Object B starts off from rest and goes faster and faster backwards until it catches up to object A at five seconds. And that's really how we do this description. You want to make it as complete as you possibly can. Um, so I hope that's helpful. And in the next video, we'll take a look at the next page of the exam.